back you guys to Dangarampa. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and if not I hope this makes your day a little bit better. We left off on Kyoko's statement not question but her her statement Ugh. my eyes hurting I'm sorry you guys uh, and that would be his official time of death I have to say for some reason it wasn't moving but if that's true then he was killed well before he exactly Fumi. and we all know that that is that has to be the case and before Celeste was attacked this morning which happened around seven. Which is still fishy to me. I think she's either lying or she's working with someone. I don't know. That's right. Taka was killed before any of the other incidents took place. That simple fact slipped past mm -hmm. all of us. It, I mean, it slipped past me because I assumed that they both died at the same time. Or the bodies were, dis not that died at the same time, but the bodies were discovered at the exact same time. But I mean, it was... It's, it's been a weird ride with this with this case, especially. We made the wrong assumption about the order of events, all because of those justice hammers. That's exactly why the culprit wrote the numbers on each hammer and had them increase in size. Because they want to distract us and make us believe that the murders are being, or the assaults and murders have been in order, but they're not, they haven't been in order at all. Someone died first. That way, when we saw how they were used in each incident, we'd easily make that wrong assumption. Somebody is a mastermind or really sat down and thought about this for days and then just put it into play, but it's crazy. Now, if Taka was killed around six, then everyone's alibis for his murder go out that the window. That is very true. Because when he was killed, we hadn't met up in the dining that hall That means that yet. everybody could possibly be the killer, and now that throws everybody under the bus as well, including Kyoko. See, she's smart. That's why I don't believe it's Kyoko. She is on the suspect list or the suspicious list. I'm going to call it the suspicious list or suspect list, but either way. But I don't believe it's her at all. That may be true in the case of Taka's murder. What does she mean? But all of our alibis still hold true for Hifumi's death. Oh yeah, death. Hifumi. Okay, yeah, so she's right about that too. Hifumi, um, Hifumi's death, we're not, we're unfor sure about the time, but we we know what time Taka died because of his, um, because of his watch. But we're not for sure when Hifumi died at all, or we can only assume that it was either in the repository or in the nurse's office, one or the other. That's right. With him, at least, we're all safe. Oh. I'm, I'm sure this is Hifumi. Huh? What was that? That came from downstairs. It must have been... Hifumi. <laughs> He's in the nurse's office. This is bad. Come on. We, oh, oh, we have to make sure it's Kamikoto. Huh? We have to go back. And then we go back. When we heard Hifumi screaming, we were all together. Except for Hiro and yeah. Kyoko. So, the only people that have alibis are the three that was together upstairs, which was um, Toku, Byakuya, and... Oh, forgive me, you guys. I'm very cold. Sakura. And the three people that were together downstairs, which was... Hina, Makoto, and Celeste. But Hiro and Hiro Hafumi, or Hiro, I mean, and Kyoko do not have alibis at all. Then we all ran down to the nurse's office, and that's where we found yep. his body. Sorry about the x thing. That's totally true. We're all in the clear. Yeah. Oh, I know. They must have recorded him screaming on a tape or something, then played it that later on. It still doesn't explain how his body was moved, because it would have took way longer. 
Ooh, forgive me, you guys. I'm sorry. It would have took way longer to move her for me just because of his size. If that's true, where's yeah. the tape? I don't know. He's just trying to clear his name, <laughs> you know, leave him alone. Don't just go making stuff up. <laughs> anyway, we all have rock solid alibis for when we heard Hifumi scream. Mm -hmm. Since all of us were there together, clearly none of us could have killed True. him. And it does not stop there. There was also the moment when we discovered his body had disappeared. When his body vanished from the nurse's office, I Hina the and I, I were in the going. bathroom together while everyone else was in the equipment room, correct? Mm hmm. And then there's the disappearance of Taka's body from the I equipment. I like how she room. said Taka. Taka's body. At that time, we were all gathered together in the nurse's office because of Hifumi going missing. Well, don't forget, I was passed out in the equipment room True. the whole time. She, she was knocked out unless she was faking it, but I don't think so. Wait, then what if Genocide Jill did it? She could have dragged Taka's body out of there Honey, right we then. we already established that Genocide Jill is only going to kill a certain way. She's already made that perfectly clear and she's been doing it for years. It's not her. Even if she could pull that off, there's no way she could have done the same with Hifumi's body. No way. Because, as we just established, she was passed out in the equipment room when his body disappeared. Unless she's working with someone, and again, if I do feel like someone's working with someone. I cannot tell you who it is. <clears throat> where's, where's the picture? Where, where is it at? Where's that? I cannot tell you who <clears throat> it is, but we have our suspicions on certain people. <clears throat> Anyway. In other words, it is impossible that any of us could have killed Hifumi or moved either no, of their bodies. No, it's impossible for you guys have killed. Yeah, Hifumi. I'm sorry. I, I'm, 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 I made a mistake. My bad. I was gonna say Hifumi, but not Taka. But yeah, Taka is 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 possible for you guys to have killed Taka, one of you guys. But it's impossible for you guys to have killed Hifumi. On the other hand, Hiro and Kyoko had Kyoko. disappeared, so they most certainly could have done those things. Mm. Hmm. So what now, Kyoko? Oh, look at him looking for at Kyoko for. For now, we can't oh get fixated goodness. on who did it, or we'll just keep going around in circles. <sighs> She's right. We got to come up with a different. We have to approach this a different way because if we keep approaching, who could possibly have not have an alibi? And who does have an alibi? We're gonna run in circles because everybody's just gonna be like, "Well, this person was doing that. Well, that person was doing this." What we need to do, though, is we need to figure out how it all happened. So instead of who, I propose we start talking <gasps> about how. Kiyoko just bumped herself up on my list. She didn't she just agree with me? Okay, okay, stop. Let me stop. In particular. I think we need to figure out how Hifumi's body got moved. That's that's true. We searched everywhere, but we couldn't figure out how to explain his body disappearing. Yeah, I, I, I have no idea. And according to what Celeste said, the only thing said, I can think of is that Hifumi was alive the whole time and he was faking it, or the killer thought that he killed Hifumi. And this is the one I'm still leaning towards more than him uh, working with somebody. But I'm thinking more so that the killer tried to kill Hafumi and then Hafumi got back up. He thought he killed Hafumi, but he didn't kill Hafumi. And he got back up and he was like wobbling, trying to find somebody. And the killer saw him again, tackled him into the repository and boom, that's how he got there and all this other stuff. <sighs> so that bothers me sometimes. We could have not have been gone no more than a minute or two though. So then the killer was able to get in and move Hafumi, Hafumi's body, out of all the people, Hafumi's body, in that short amount of time. It would seem so. His body apparently disappeared in the one minute her and Hina took their eyes off of it. But to carry that much weight from the first floor up to the third, 
in that short it's amount of time? It's physically impossible. It's got the only person I feel like that can do that is possibly Sakura. Oh man, yeah. There's no way. It'd be impossible. Yeah. Well, what if I told you there was a way to make the impossible possible? What is there like a trash chute or something or an elevator? <laughs> because that's the only other thing I can think of. What? How? If the dead body were to move itself. She's on the track and now I'm on. She's see, she agreed with me again. Hafumi wasn't dead. He got up looking for somebody. And couldn't find anybody. Sorry you guys, I thought I heard my phone ringing. The the dead body m moved on its own? It's possible, Hina. It's definitely possible. <laughs> Don't scare me. No! Not another <laughs> Don't ghost. You worry, hero. There's no ghost. I feel so sorry for him. I want to lay him on my chest. She'd be like, it's okay. There's no ghost. <laughs> I don't think it has anything to do with the occult. I think what she's implying is we thought Hifumi was dead, but perhaps in reality he was still alive. He was still alive. Ugh. You know what, Byakuya? Give me the 1v1. Like, I'm so tired of you. I'm so tired of you. Like, I will box you. I will box you. He was alive? You know what? I never make Hina my thumbnail. Can she be the thumbnail today, you guys? You guys wouldn't mind if Hina's the thumbnail, right? Like, y'all don't care. Like, let's, let's go ahead. Are you saying Hifumi wasn't carried out of the nurse's mm -hmm. office, but simply walked out on his mm -hmm. own? But I mean, we found his body. He Are was dead. Are we sure about that, though? Perhaps he was simply playing dead. Maybe not even playing. He could have just been knocked out. That it isn't possible. Shut up, Celeste. You're suspicious. The idea that Hafumi was still alive. Is it really possible? It's got to be possible. He has to have been alive the whole time. My game is kind of like glitchy. I will fix it in the next recording. I'm so sorry. I don't think it's the broken watch what we need. I think we have to... Are you saying that when we first found Hifumi in the nurse's uh -huh. office, there's a chance he was actually still alive? No, it is impossible. Okay. Hifumi was dead, without a doubt. You don't know that, shut up. And you know that Yeah, how? you don't know that, shut up. Surely you heard the body discovery announcement along with the rest mm -hmm. of us. Hifumi's dead body had been found. And that is why the announcement was made. Okay. Are we really so sure about that? Maybe the announcement was intended to signal someone <gasps> else's discovery. I think we gotta take that. I think we gotta take that. I'm sure the body discovery announcement was only made once. But if Fumi and Taka's body were discovered at the exact same time. Okay. No. Are yeah, you yeah, saying yeah, no, that no, when we first found there's a chance you- No. Uh -oh. It is if Kifumi was dead, and you know that, surely you heard the body if Kifumi's dead Sorry, body I just want to had been in that, is the little thing really? Really? Maybe the announcement was intended <gasps> no, no, to no, 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 no. someone else's discovery. I'm sorry, you guys. You guys know I'm terrible at this. Are you saying that when we first I got wrapped a up in the pink? No. That I did. Hifumi was dead, and you know that. Surely you heard the body dis Hifumi's dead body, and that is. Are we really so hey, sure this. about? Maybe the announcement was intended to signal someone <gasps> no. else's discovery. That, that's what I need. That's what. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Are God. you saying that when we first found so there's sorry. a chance? You no. Hifumi was dead, and you know that. Surely you heard the body discovery announcement. Hifumi's dead body had been found, and that I didn't know which button it was. Really so sure. Maybe the announcement was intended to signal someone else's it's discovery. It's gotta be there's someone else's discovery. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Go, go on. Are you saying that when we but first found Hifumi in the nurse's office, there's a chance he was actually still alive? No, I don't think it's this. No, it is impossible. Hifumi was dead. Well, you don't know that you're not a doctor. And you know that how? Surely you heard the body discovery announcement along with the rest of us. Hifumi's dead body no. had been found. No. That's gotta be it. No, that's wrong. Ah, 
did I do it? I'm sorry, I'm getting a little better. I'm, I'm trying to play these so I can get better. <laughs> was the body discovery announcement that was made really intended for Hifumi? That's true. Of course it was. The announcement played right after we discovered no, his so body. Let's think about it. it it's, it's possible that you guys discovered the bodies at the exact same time. It is possible when y'all split up that y'all accidentally... And I'm saying accidentally with a weird, a very, very strange, probably one in a million coincidence that you guys discovered the body together at the exact same time. It's possible. It's possible. Maybe. But that was also the same time that Taka's body yep. was found. That's right. It wasn't long after finding his body that we heard mm -hmm. the announcement. And we didn't hear too. So you guys had to have discovered it. So there's a good chance we've made a mistake in there somewhere. Mm -hmm. I think we've confused whether the announcement was for Hifumi or Please Taka. Let me know if I did it wrong, you guys. I do feel like I did it right, but I mean, maybe there's a different route I could take that I'm not for sure of. But just let me know, you guys, in the comment section if I did it right or wrong. First of all, if two bodies had been found, there really should have been two That's announcements. True. But we don't know that either. Maybe Monokuma simply got lazy and rolled them together into Monokuma, one. Monokuma, speak up. What do you say, Monokuma? Any speak comment? Up. Well, it's a very sensitive issue, so I can't go into too much detail. But what I can say about the body discovery announcement is that... And that's where I'm gonna end it. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's only broadcast when three or more people find a dead body for the first time. I want you guys to come in the comment section and just, like, beat me up. That didn't answer our question, man. We're asking if you're a lazy no, bum. that answered a lot, honey. That answered a lot. No, actually, that hmm. was plenty. Did Biakia just move up on my lip? I still want the 1v1. You're not, you're not getting off. Huh? He said it's only broadcast when a body is discovered for the first time, which means... I, I like to come to the conclusion myself without the game guiding me. So that's why I stop and just start talking because I might come to the conclusion myself and this, if I'm right, I'm right. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Even if we find the same body again later, he won't make the announcement again. Exactly. And there were two body discovery announcements. So if Hafuma, Hafuma, Hafumi and Taka were both dead, then there should have been two announcements then. And not a second announcement later, like not one then and then another one later. There was a body discovery announcement later when we discovered their bodies in the repository, which means that they were still alive. Somebody was still alive, and it had to have been Hofumi because he's the only one that got back up. If that's true, then why was the announcement made again later on? Did Biakia just move up my list again? <sighs> huh? Later on? Exactly. We heard the body discovery announcement mm -hmm. twice. The second body discovery announcement. The first time it played when we found each of each body in the nurse's office and in the equipment room. The second time was when just after Hafumi came back to life, when Toku found unconscious, when both bodies were rediscovered. I got it! I got a little life, you guys. We heard it a second time in the repository mm -hmm. when we rediscovered the two bodies. Ding dong ding. A body has been discovered. After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin. God, I hate Monokuma. It didn't seem weird at the time, but it contradicts what Monokuma just told us, yeah. doesn't it? Exactly. If we were actually rediscovering both bodies, the announcement shouldn't have played. Mm -hmm. And in reality, when the two dead bodies were rediscovered, one of them Still was actually alive. being discovered for the first time. Which it had to have been Hifumi. So when we found Hifumi the first time in the he nurse's office, dead. he wasn't actually Sakura, dead you yet. Quit winking at me. Oh my god. 
You better stop. You're in high school. Go, go on. Meaning he wasn't actually found dead until we came upon him in the repository. <laughs> and that's just mm -hmm. part of it. There's one other thing that leads me to believe he was still alive in the nurse's office. His glasses. Oh, 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 I know, oh, I know. God. Because he was super good at playing dead. But a big I love you, Jill. But that's not it, honey. That's far from being it. That is the worst logic I have Shut ever up, heard. Celeste, you didn't come up with it. At least she's trying to come up with stuff. But honestly, I do not think there's anything that can prove he was still there alive. Is. Okay then, let's take another look at the events surrounding the discovery of his body. Then it should become clear whether he was really alive or not. Yep, I can't wait to break this down. This whole thing is It is not pointless. Everything is it's for a reason, Celeste. Do not. She just bumped herself down. She just. I love her accent, but she bumped herself under Biakia. How can you possibly do that? You just put yourself under Biakia. I hope you feel ashamed. I hope you are happy. I'm poking her in the chest, you guys. I know you can't see it, but I'm poking my screen right now. I hope you are happy. Mm. There's. There has to be proof that shows that Fumi was still alive. I have to find it and show it. I'm sorry, I feel like I'm gonna sneeze, you guys, and show it to everyone. Um, I'm gonna have to take something else because I don't think we have that. Oh, no, no, we do have it. Her Fumi's glasses. Yep, that's what we need. Let's go. Well, here's one thing we do know. Okay. The first time we found Hifumi's body was in the nurse's office. And then, while me and Celeste were in the bathroom, his body disappeared. The body did not disappear. And the next time we saw his body, it was in the repository. Yep. But when you compare his body before being moved and his body after being moved, other than the change in how it was positioned, Zoom. There was no notable yes, difference. This is what we had to shoot. I just then, like to hear the whole thing. Was he really still alive? He was still alive. Of course not. It is impossible. Oh, this is ridiculous. All right, now we can skip through this. When the Fumi's body was found in the nurse office, and when it was found again in the repository, there's definitely some sort of conflict there. We know which one we need to shoot. Well, here's one thing. The first time we found him, and then. His body disappeared. And the next time we saw his, it was in the repository. But when you compare his body before yeah, 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 being yeah, moved yeah. and his body after being moved, other than the change in how it was positioned, okay. is this? There was no notable difference. Was this? There's no, definitely it's a difference. Not. It was his glasses. It was Hufumi's lovely glasses. In fact. There was one clear difference between Hifumi and the nurse's office in the repository. His glasses. I want to stop it because I don't want to make these too long. But let's try to end it on a, on a question. That fact alone proves that he was only playing dead in mm -hmm. the beginning. Perhaps you'd like to fill the rest of us in? I'm going to try to stop it. When we found Hifumi in the nurse's office, his glasses were covered yep. with blood. And then there. But when we found him again later in the repository, they were spotless. Yes, yeah, so he had to have cleaned them or someone cleaned them, and there's no way a killer would have cleaned his glasses. And I found the item he used to wipe them clean in the nurse's office trash can. Evidence I found in a trash can that the nurse's office was... Not the Fumi's glasses, not that. This. This. Get. I got it! Yeah, and I had a little more life too. It was a glasses cleaning cloth featuring a certain cartoon mascot. One look at the blood stain on the cloth should make things clear. Mm -hmm. This piece of cloth was used to wipe Fumi's glasses clean. And the mascot on the cloth is the same one that's on the digital camera, right? And that's where we should leave it. I want to make sure you guys know that if today just was going horribly wrong for you, 
maybe you're arguing with your boyfriend or something terrible you argue with your mom you, you got to do chores or whatever i just want y'all to know that those bad times that's going on in your life are not gonna stay forever please be careful please 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 make sure you're wearing your mask when you go out and please for the love of goodness try your hardest to do something positive today whether it be i don't know pick up something off the floor for someone <sighs> paint a house that's a little extreme but i mean still you know you know what i mean just do something positive today i will see all you lovely people in the next video bye